Hello, Adam here from Football Index Intelligence. Thanks for joining us today for this video on dividends. So, what are dividends? So, dividends are daily payouts that you can get on the players that you have in your portfolio. So, there's four types of dividends that you can earn. There's match day, team of the month, media and in-player dividends. What we'll do is we'll go through each one and explain what they are. So the first one we'll look at is the match day dividends. So the match day dividends are the dividends that are available for a player's performance on the pitch from real life stats across the top five leagues in Europe and also in the Champions League, Europa League and big tournaments like the World Cup and the European Championships. So to win these dividends, your player would need to finish the top forward, top midfielder, top defender or top goalkeeper on the day that matches are being played. So if we look at this example here, this is the match day rankings that you'll see on the website or on the app. Gonzalo Higuain is currently the top forward. Canales is currently the top midfielder and Pavard is currently the top defender. Now after all the matches have finished, if there was still in those positions, then they would be eligible for the dividend payouts. So let's have a look what else you can win then. So the other payout we can get is the star player dividend. So this is for the overall most points in a day. So as you can see or again on this screenshot, Gonzalo Higuain has got a score of 261. This score is better than any other player in any other position. So if he was to stay there on a gold day, which I'll come to in a moment, he would win the top forward because his position is a forward and also the star player because he's got the most points of every single player participating on that day. So points are accumulated from stats like passing, crossing, scoring of course, assisting, that sort of thing. And all the points are tallied up to create the player's total score. So the stats are from Optostats, that's where they get all the data from, Football Index that is. And that's how they accumulate the points based on stats in the game. We'll just go to that briefly down here. So if you look on here, look, it shows you the points that you can earn in green for all the different actions. And there's also minus points, which are shown in red. So there's three types of match days, dividends that you can win, and they all have different values. So there's the bronze day, silver day, gold day. So the bronze day is when there's one to four matches. Silver day is when there's five to 14 matches. And the gold day is 15 plus matches. Obviously the gold day is the most, the biggest payout, sorry, because obviously there's more competition, more players competing for the top spot in the respective position. There's also the media dividend here, which we'll go on to shortly. So these payouts here that you can see, these are per share of the footballer that you own. So you would earn 4p per share of a footballer you own if there was a finish in the top of the rankings for their position. Okay, so let's have a look what competitions are eligible. So the eligible competitions are the five major leagues in Europe. Champions League, Europa League and some tournaments like the Euro 2021 and the World Cup, things like that. Now the deadline to qualify for these payouts is 4 o'clock. So you need to earn that player by 4 o'clock on the day of the matches to be able to qualify for the dividend payouts. If you was to win a payout on the dividends, dividends are usually paid into your cash balance 
the following day between 9am and 11am. There's also a multiplier on the Champions League and Europa League matches. This is because obviously the Champions League and Europa League is more of a prestigious competition and they should really get the more of an advantage of winning the dividends because they're usually tougher matches that you play in them competitions and if there's say like a League One match on the same day as a Champions League match it wouldn't be very fair if there was PSG against say a lower league team in the French League because there's probably got more chance of winning the top positions than a player who was playing in a tough Champions League match. So if there's a tie break, if there's equal points at the end of the match day, the point dividends would go to the youngest player. So let's go on to the next one now, the next dividend category. So the next one is the team of the month. So this is exactly what it says on the tin. Obviously the points that we just saw there for the player, they would get added up over the month and the top three scores would be accumulated to their total score for the month. Then all the positions, we've got the top goalkeeper, top three defenders, top four midfielders, top three forwards, would be paid out the dividends displayed on the screen. So this is a good, this is a fantastic um, extra addition each month to get a, a lump sum payout of dividends for your um, best performing players. Okay, and the eligible, eligible competitions again is the top five leagues, Champions League and the Europa League. The next one we're going to talk about is the media dividends. So these are absolutely unique to the football index and you can win these dividends 365 days a year, whether there's matches or not. So these dividends are paid out based on news articles from world outlets. Um, and each article obviously gets a point attributed to that article depending on how positive the story is. So as you can see in the screenshot here, Kylian Mbappe is currently top of the rankings with a score of 280 points. So these are the payouts for the media dividends. So when this match is being played, it's just the top position that wins the media dividends and it's 5p per share. When there's no matches being played, no eligible matches, it's the top three that get paid out. 6p, 4p, 2p per share. Again, the deadline to qualify for these dividend payouts is 4pm. 4, 4 and if there's a tie break, then the footballer with the latest unique story will be ranked higher. Okay, so that is important to note. Again, those dividends are paid out the following day between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Now, the final one is the in player dividends. These are for more people who like a quick fix, a quick turnaround of, of, um, of potential winnings, like you would on traditional betting. Um, on this one, what you get is um, for every goal, assist, or clean sheet for goalkeepers, you get a payout for every goal or assist. And clean sheet basically for the first 30 days that you own that footballer so this is a fantastic um, way to earn dividends if you just bought a player you know for the next 30 days every goal or assist that player scores you will get paid out dividends and every clean sheet for goalkeepers only you will also get dividends okay let's have a look what you can um, get paid out on so pair goal for forwards and midfielders is 2p per share. Defenders or goalkeepers is 4p per share. For every assist by any position is 2p per share. And clean sheet is 2p for goalkeepers only. So as you can see, there's lots of opportunities there to win dividends. And the dividends really are the lifeblood of the platform. And they're just a fantastic part of the football index. They really are what makes the player prices go up or down because if they're not winning dividends then essentially that player is not really worth much apart from hype and eventually the price will drop if they're not winning or have a potential of winning these dividend payouts. Okay, so that's the video complete for today. I hope you found it useful and informative. Please watch some other videos 
um, if you want any more information on the football index. Okay, thanks for joining me and happy trading.